Hey folks, what's up? Welcome to Add It To The List. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the scarier, or at least most uncomfortable films of the last 10 years. And that film is Cats. Okay, so maybe second scariest. But the film we're looking at today is Spree. Now I know that that's a heavy claim to make, especially going up against some of cinema's recent horror releases. But remember, it's just my opinion. And I'm going to get into the why of it right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kurt here from Kurt's World. Spree follows Kurt Kunkel, a socially detached 20-something content creator who lives in LA. And like many creators, Kurt wants nothing more than for his online presence to explode, to go viral, to take over the world. And he's willing to do whatever it takes for that to happen. And I really do mean anything. Mmm, <clears throat> spoilers ahead. Stop! You ever thought of increasing your reach? Are you dissatisfied with your number of viewers? Ever thought about drilling somebody's head in? No? Well now you can when I've tried and tested social media campaign. I'm not trying to make light of the events in this film, because though it is fiction, it is very clearly inspired by real world events. But this is the film's basic premise. Kurt vows to take his content to the next level and details his steps to success. Success he hasn't even reached yet personally, by the way, in what he calls the lesson. And from the opening of the film, it's clear that Kurt has some serious issues with his mental health. Check this out, though. It's established that he doesn't have a great relationship with his parents. Dad, seriously, put that hat on. All right. Ugh. And straight from the off, before everything happens in the film's narrative, man, I just couldn't help but feel sorry for this guy. Okay. But the film never preaches Kurt's troubles to the audience. Seems to me that he's just desperate. Desperate for the love and attention that he isn't getting from those that are around him. Aren't we all? And then the social media, or at least the false promise, that social media whispers in everybody's ear that anyone can become famous. That little voice is there for him when nobody else is. Or is it? I don't even know why I'm making these videos. Metrics. It is a numbers game, and right now... I just feel like a zero. Kirk is struggling. He barely gets double digits on his view account. So where's all the love and attention that he so clearly craves? If it's so easy, then why is it so hard? I mean, you know, apart from being one of the most competitive and oversaturated industries on the planet, what's so hard about it? Huh? Tell me! Uh, it's time to go viral, baby. So we're uh, here at the first passenger's house, uh, here to pick up Frederick. Under the guise of a spree driver, which is a ride to share app, Kurt launches his plan to challenge his audience by, if you hadn't already guessed it at this point, by killing his passengers and live streaming the entire thing. Do you want to have like a taste to it? <coughs> Am I crazy? <coughs> what are you talking about? It's just pure water. Remember when I said I felt sorry for him? Well. That's worn off at this point, <laughs> really. but I am invested. And then we're gonna inject this right on the label because um, that way the passenger will never notice. And I can't think of an actor who could have done a better job than Joe Keery. It would have been so easy for the filmmakers to cast a muscly, threatening type because on the surface, Kurt looks at worse like a frat boy who might puke in the punch bowl. But that's exactly why it works. He doesn't play on the menacing stuff because that's already in the script. Instead, he focuses on the internal world of Kurt, which makes the external consequences feel all the more real and devastating. By focusing on the humorous side or the sensitive side of Kurt, that just makes the heavy stuff heavy. I'm gonna fuck you so. I'm gonna fuck you so hard. And that makes him feel like more of a fleshed out character. He's, he's, he's multi-dimensional. He's able to draw out the human side of him. And to be able to do that with a character like this is just... Fair play, dude. And that is ultimately what drives this entire film for me. That's what makes the character work. It goes beyond surface level. Because Kurt could be anyone. And that's really what got under my skin. It could be anyone. What do you guys think about that? Would you guys want to go? I'll draw you now to a scene near the end of the film. 
and I'm going to crop this so not to spoil what what happens or how or how it happens. Are you watching this? You are sick. What is wrong with you? This is not a fucking TV show. If you know where we are, call the cops. And you'll just see there's just a sea. Anonymous faces, anonymous names, just saying the worst stuff. And there's no consequences. And there are people in the chat who don't even know if it's real. How are you supposed to know what's authentic anymore? I know I might sound like a bit of a boomer, but, you know. You should have to get a bloody license to go on the internet. It's bloody terrifying. How do you turn this bloody thing off? So that's Spree. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't seen this and you enjoy challenging cinema, I would definitely add this to your list. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. You know, like Kurt. Hey, it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game, baby! And maybe I'll see you in the next one. See you all later. Bye!